Hello, I'm Ann McKinnell. Thanks for joining in. I'm here to help you accelerate your photography by teaching you the easiest techniques for improving your images so you can start making great images right away. Today's lesson is about processing your raw images. By raw, I mean that you have captured the image in the raw format, not as a JPEG. If you are not capturing in RAW, you should be, because it's so much easier and faster to process your images in a non-destructive way, meaning I'm not harming the original file. Let's get started. This is Lightroom. I'm going to be using Lightroom in this tutorial. The develop module in Lightroom is Adobe Camera RAW. It's the exact same thing. So if you don't have Lightroom, use Adobe Camera RAW. It's free and it looks exactly like this. I've chosen this image to work on. Now I'm going to show you how quick and simple it is to make dramatic improvements to the image. The first thing to do is to click on this basic tab and adjust the white balance of the image. You can see the white balance is set to as shot, which means whatever my camera setting was at the time I made the image. If you've done this in RAW, you can change this anytime. So I can click here and change this to cloudy or shade or you could even use one of the other settings like fluorescent or tungsten. I liked how the cloudy setting worked. There. The next thing to do is to adjust the contrast in the image. You can do that using this contrast slider here, but I prefer to use the tone curve tool. When you click on the tone curve, you can see the default is linear. And you can change this to medium contrast or strong contrast. And you can see the dramatic change in the image. I like how the medium contrast looked, so I'm going to set it to medium. Back on the basic tab, the next thing to do is to adjust the vibrance of the color. There's a slider here for vibrance and for saturation. It's important not to go overboard with these sliders though. So I'm going to take the vibrance slider and just move that up to the right a little bit to give these colors some punch. The next thing to do is to adjust the detail of the image. By clicking on the detail tab, you can adjust the sharpening. Digital images are not as sharp as film. That's just how it is. You can use this tool to make your image appear sharper. So I'm just going to slide that up and you can see the difference that's made. Finally, I'm going to use this crop tool to adjust the crop of the image. Now you can see how the horizon line here is a little bit crooked. So I'm just going to rotate the image a little bit to fix that. And then I think there's a little bit too much foreground in this image, so I'm going to hold down the shift key and just bring that in a little bit, bring that down a little bit, until I like the crop. There we go. Now because this processing is non-destructive, I can go back and change my mind on any of these items at any time. So if I decide I want to change the white balance again now, I can go ahead and do that. No problem. So here is the before and after. This is the after, and there's the before. Before and after. What a difference. I hope you found this lesson helpful. You can find more tips and some free photography ebooks on my website at annmckinnell.com. See you next time.